good morning students today we can learn about what are the various classification of goodwill okay. so what are the there are two classification of goodwill that are the first one is acquired or purchased goodwill what is mean acquired or purchased goodwill goodwill acquired by making payment in cash or kind is called acquired or purchased goodwill when we pay, paid money not to get the goodwill acquired by making payment in cash or in any other kind it can be termed as a purchased goodwill when a firm purchases an existing business they wants to pay price for such a goodwill so that is termed as the assets minus liabilities so we can find out the ex find out the goodwill the excess of purchase consideration over the value of net assets acquired is treated as, as acquired goodwill the in, according to indian accounting standard 10 accounting of fixed asset uh, states that goodwill must be recorded in the books of accounts only when some consideration in money or money's worth has been paid for it therefore this acquired goodwill can be recorded in the books of accounts and it should be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet under fixed asset that's so why this is termed as acquired uh, goodwill or purchased goodwill Pur good when we are purchasing a company or an organization we are paying separate amount for the value of goodwill so that amount can be shown in the balance sheet asset side as fixed asset okay second one is self generated goodwill it is a goodwill which is self generated by a firm based on its features of the business they are self generating the goodwill okay for example uh, location loyal customers due to these reasons they can generate goodwill such generated goodwill cannot be recorded in the books of accounts that cannot be shown in the books of accounts okay so these are the two met, uh, classification of goodwill adavadhu rendu classification of goodwill ஃபஸ்ட்டு வந்து வந்து அக்வேர்ட் ஒரு பர்ச்சேஸ்டு குட்வில் அப்படின்னு அதாவது நம்ம ஒரு பிஸ்னஸ்ஸை வாங்கும்போது ஒரு பிஸ்னஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் நம்ம பர்ச்சேஸ் பண்ணும்போது குட்வில் நம்ம அசட்டோட அதிகமாக நம்ம வந்து ஒரு டென் லேக்ஸு ஒன் குரோரு அப்படின்னு நம்ம பே பண்ணணும் எதுக்காக இந்த குட்வில்காக அந்த பேர் நல் பெயருக்காக நம்ம பே பண்ணோம் இல்லையா அதுதான் வந்து அக்வேர்ட் ஒரு பர்ச்சே அதுக்கு நம்ம பே பண்ணி வாங்குறது பை வே ஆஃப் பேமெண்ட் இன் கேஷ் கேஷாகவோ இல்லை வேறு ஷேர் ஆகவோ நம்ம பே பண்ணியில் அசட்டாகவோ கொடுத்துட்டு நம்ம வாங்குறது தான் வந்து பர்ச்சேஸ்டு குட்வில்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இது வந்து ஒரு ஃபிக்ஸட் அசட்டு பேலன்ஸ் ஷீட்லேயே அசட் சைட்லேயே ஃபிக்ஸட் அசட்டுக்கு கீழே நம்ம வந்து குட்வில் அப்படின்னு எழுதும் அடுத்து வந்து செல்ஃப் ஜென்ரேட்டட் அசட்டுன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இல்லையா இது வந்து அந்த பிஸ்னஸோட ஃபியூச்சர் அதாவது டே பை டே பிஸ்னஸ் பண்ணும்போது ஜென்ரேட் ஆகக்கூடிய அந்த குட்வில்லோட வேல்யூ அது வந்து டியூ டு ஃபேவரபிள் நல்ல லொக்கேஷனில் இருந்தால் நல்ல பிஸ்னஸ் கிடைக்கும் அப்புறம் லாயல் கஸ்டமர்ஸ் இருந்தால் கிடைக்கும் அதெல்லாம் இல்லையா அதுதான் அந்த செல்ஃப் ஜென்ரேட்டட் குட்வில்னு சொல்லுவாங்க அது வந்து புக்ஸ் ஆஃப் அக்கௌண்டில் நம்ம வந்து ஷோ பண்ண மாட்டாங்க காமிக்க மாட்டாங்க இதுதான் ரெண்டு கிளாஸிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் குட்வில் இப்போ நம்ம இப்போ நெக்ஸ்ட் பார்க்க போகிறது வந்து டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மெத்தட்ஸ் ஆஃப் வேல்யூவேஷன் ஆஃப் குட்வில் ஹியர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு வேல்யூ த குட்வில் பை யூஸிங் various method there are three methods for the valuation of goodwill listen on the board now see there are three methods for the valuation of goodwill first one is average profit method see under average profit method there are two methods which are followed by them any one method we can follow simple average profit method or weighted average profit method this is the first method here simple average considering or finding out the simple average and uh, after that they are finding out the goodwill here weighted average find out the weighted average profit method so finding out the weighted average profit then find out the goodwill is so the first method then second one is a super profit method here first uh, super there are three super profit method first one purchase of super profit method second one annuity method third one capitalization of super profit method okay so there are three super profit method used to value the goodwill first one is purchase of super profit method annual method and capitalization of super profit method then the third one is capitalization method 
that is no subdivision under the capitalization method so here we are going to see how we find out the uh, good value of goodwill based on these three methods okay so now we wants to learn some formulas regarding how to find out the value of goodwill see first we wants in the first method average profit method based on the he, here we wants to know how much is the average profit so average profit is equal to total profit divided by number of years now after finding out the average profit we can find out the goodwill goodwill is equal to average profit already we find out here no that one average profit into number of years purchase number of years purchase is given in the question okay so we can find out easily average profit into number of years purchase is equal to goodwill then the second method that is weighted average profit method here first we wants to find out the weighted average profit weighted average profit is equal to total weight of profits divided by number of weights okay so we will get a weighted average profit then goodwill is equal to weighted average profit that we already find out here into number of years purchase this number of years purchase will be given in the question so this way we can find out the value of goodwill under first method that is average profit method okay second method is super profit method super profit method um, there are three methods no uh, under super profit uh, methods of valuing goodwill first one is purchase of super profit method so under purchase of super profit method how to find out the goodwill goodwill is equal to super profit into number of years purchase number of years purchase is given in the question we wants to find out the super profit here so super profit here we wants to find out the super profit super profit is equal to average profit minus normal profit average profit first method we find out no that is average profit then minus normal profit so here we wants to find out the normal profit normal profit is equal to capital employed into normal rate of return capital employed into normal rate of return so here you wants to know capital employed and what is normal rate of return capital employed is equal to fixed asset plus current asset minus current liabilities that is called a capital employed then what is normal rate of return normal rate of return is equal to the rate at which the profit is earned by similar business entities in the same type of industry okay so these are the various formulas to find out the super profit uh, valuation of goodwill under super profit method purchase of super profit method so first we wants to find out the goodwill super profit into number of years purchase adukapra vandu super profit na average profit minus normal profit here we wants to find out the average profit adu namma inge kandupidipom rendu method namma erkanave padichumalle adhe da then normal profit normal profit is equal to capital employed into normal rate of return so capital employed is equal to fixed asset plus current asset minus current liabilities normal rate of return the rate at which the profit earned by the adhe odhe idhe type of companies vandu normal ah evlo profit earn pandraangalo adha vandu normal rate of return appo idellame namak kandupidikkena idhukku vendiya fixed asset current asset current liabilities ella namakku available in the question question la kudupanga adha vechi namak kandupidikkanum இதான் இந்த மெத்தேடு ஃபஸ்ட்டு மெத்தேடு பர்ச்சேஸ் ஆஃப் சூப்பர் ப்ராஃபிட் மெத்தேடு அப்படின்றது ஓகேங்களா தேங்க்யூ